Mm. You gotta love a Slurpee. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> uh, if you saw my last video, I did say I was gonna be a lot more like frequent and whatnot, creating more content. Um, and then sporadically, I think like a week after that video I uploaded, I ended up having a baby. And so he was a premature baby. I had to stay at the hospital, you know, life got in the way. So that put a pause on YouTube, even though I had uploaded like three videos consistently. Now got to start again. So I am going to do a, um, how to get like dewy slash glowy skin for very dry skin like myself. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with uh, prepping your skin. So I've already moisturized. Um, we'll start off with having some Slurpee. I got Coke, raspberry, and lime. I generally just mix all the flavors. It's so good. All right, so we're gonna start off with uh, my Hangover Too Faced Primer. So put a pump like that. I tend to put it on the T-zone, but I do like to try and blend it out all over my face. Next up, we're gonna use um, the MAC Stroke Cream in Gold Light. So this product, I like to put it on the areas where, you know, you tend to highlight with your highlighter, so. Bit above the lip. And I do like to have my forehead. And then the excess just spread it around the face, you know. The last prep for my skin is the Cover FX Enhancer Drops in the color Sunlight. So what I do is put a little bit I like to put this around my whole face. So as you can see, I am using natural light. So I do have a glow, and like I said, I have a very, very, like, ridiculously dry skin, so. That's that, now foundation, um, you know, use personal preference. I literally go through different foundations, like, every day. Also, my most recent purchase, which wasn't, eh, it was a few weeks ago, is the, three weeks ago, L'Oreal True Match, which I have used, but because I, I haven't been fake tanning like I used to before I had two kids. So I'm gonna use the True Match in vanilla. This, I literally put like, I do, not a full pump, but I like to disperse it. And you wanna pat it in. And as you can tell, I still have that glow seeping through the foundation, so that's really nice. And then for concealer, I was using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, but it's finished pretty much. I don't even know why I still have it. So I'm just going to use the MAC Prep and, Prep and Prime in Light Boost. As you can tell, I like this product. I know it's been a while since people have used it, but I like it. So why stop using something you like? A Zoeva 110 Face Shape Brush. So I'll just use the MAC Prep and Prime BB Cream in the color Amber. Or another one that I really like to use is my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. And that's like that color, which is really nice. Or that one, which seems 
a little darker. This is a bit more cooler, this is a bit warmer. I guess it depends how you feel. They're both pretty good products, so. I just like to use a stippling brush and just pat that in. And then you want to set everything in. Now, the Bioteri Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. My sister used to work at, oh, sorry. My brother used to work at Mecca Maxima, like head office. So he would get like a whole bunch of free stuff. I got some free stuff. Ooh, just a little fluffy brush. And I literally Just pat that underneath the eyes. Just use, you know, whatever suits you best. I don't like to dust, like, I like the pressed powders the best. If you've seen, if you watched my previous video, or one of the videos, I've used the Hourglass um, Radiant Ambient Lighting Powder in Radiant Light because I'm fair. And it's got a bit of like a shimmer to it, so I do like to use this as like a bronzer, so I still keep that like glow. And then for blush, nothing fancy. I'm just going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Carolina. This too has a bit of a sheen. I'm going to quickly do my brows and eyes and I'll be right back. I didn't touch up my eyebrows in the end. Should I? I, have... Meh. I did put um, some... Mario Bedescu Facial Spray. Now, highlighter. Ooh, I didn't contour my nose. That's a must. Becca Highlighter in Moonstone. I love this stuff. Just use a highlighter that you use on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So that works well for my skin color. Now, you just gotta pick one that works well for your skin color. I use a very dense, or Compared to the fan brushes, quite dense uh, highlighter brush, which is the 105 Lux Highlighter by Zoeva. And put that on. And see, like, that glow. I mean, you can put other highlighters that can almost make it look like it's wet, but this works for me. Put in the inner corner of my eyes, a little bit on the brow, down the bridge of my nose. If you don't have a, um, a little brush, just use your pinky on the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. See that glow? And then just to amp it up just a little bit more, I use the Glow Mist by Pixie. It's got propolis and argan oil. Not a fan of the smell. So see that, that sheen. See how the bronzer, because it's got a sheen in as well. Thank 
you guys for watching. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe, the link is, the button is over here. Or over here. Plus the bell if you want to get notifications. Because um, it would be awesome if you join the family. Join the Australian family. No. Whatever family. Um, and yeah, and I'm going to be doing more, more videos. I'm about to film another one for you. A little, oh. I'll put the link down below for my previous video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later.